Hi Taurus and welcome to your June monthly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well and this is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Taurus sign so we can look at the cards, get a sense of the messages from what we see and that can help shape and guide the month for us. So let's see what we have. I've already shuffled these cards quite a bit. Give them a few more shuffles. The, the chess queen, trust and strategizing. So when I think of the chess queen, I think of um, you know, looking at all the moves and thinking about uh, the consequences as a result of your move. That if you move in this path, then this may happen. If you make this decision, then this result will happen. So a great chess player can see the board and has a sense probably of the moves and, and the way that they're going to strategize against the opponent in order to get to checkmate. So the chess queen is a matter of trusting your abilities, trusting your game plan, and having a plan, having a strategy, and having a strategy for your life. Uh, go out and create, go out and think about what it is that you want to achieve. Visualize, if you're hoping to create relationships, then you have to meet people, you have to make those interactions, you have to have social time in order to get to know others and so you know the chess queen is someone who is a a master perhaps if you want to say at the game of life because it's a matter of seeing how all the pieces fit and what your what and how your moves are going to um, affect the outcome or the result I think the other piece here is the word trust and trust is again it's trusting yourself and your abilities, trusting your vision, trusting your instincts. Uh, it's also a matter of trusting divine source, God, uh, you know, the grand picture, the world beyond and letting things unfold to you and then you using your strategy and your sense and your smarts to be able to navigate and to move forward. So uh, sometimes random moves on a chessboard happen that maybe you weren't expecting and that you might have to shift or you might have to come up with a different strategy, but that's all a part of life and about quote unquote playing the game. So think about how you are going to, uh, you know, activate your life and to make it the best that you can make it. So I think it's a, it's a card that tells us to take command of your the strategy and of your path for your life. So let's take a look at body. We'll get a sense of the messages for our body. Unconditional joy. So it's a beautiful thought. Uh, thank you for helping me appreciate everything that makes me happy right now. And it's finding the joy in simple things, perhaps. It's finding the joy in giving and loving others. And it's experiencing joy without um, hoping that you're going to get it back. You have to release the expectation. And you have to love and you have to give in order to uh, feel 
you know, to feel unconditional joy. It's just, it could be something like walking your dog on a beautiful day and having the sun beaming down. It's to take pleasure and to take notice of the moment at hand. You know, when we get too far ahead of ourselves, uh, we can think about the things that we don't have. Or if, if I get this item, then that's going to bring me joy. When really joy and happiness, that comes from within. And it's the expression and the cliche that we say, happiness is an inside job. So it is a matter of perspective of when you are finding unconditional joy and the thrill of life just in uh, your daily existence. You know, the simple things in life can bring so much happiness. And uh, whether I, I, this is a lovely picture of a woman with uh, dogs, animals love unconditionally, and uh, seniors, I mean, whatever it is in your life, where you are right now. I think that that's the message is to take notice and be present to how you live and to what's around you and think about the, the good things. That includes good health. If you have your health, you have everything. And uh, the friends or the family that are supportive of you, it's a matter of perspective and of thinking about your day. And so uh, many years ago, I used to think that, um, you know, joy was only reserved for like a wedding or having a baby or graduating. And it's really not. It's, those are great milestones and wonderful things to celebrate and to really feel great about. But we can uh, harness the feeling of having joy every day it's the little things, the flowers in the garden, you know, the sweet interactions between people that you do have, the positive interactions, your children's drawings that they leave for you after school. So unconditional joy, I think it's a great message to relax and to be present and to take note of life around you and what is good. So now I'm going to choose a card for spirit, emotional self. Listen. So let me read this. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but what lies beneath the words. And that's a beautiful, beautiful sentiment, is to just sit back and allow someone else to share and to be an active listener, watching their expressions, uh, giving silent feedback, perhaps, and um, you know, being uh, empathetic and compassionate as well. In this day and age with social media and stories to tell, you know, people seem to interrupt each other all the time. You know, I, I sometimes do that. I mean, everybody does. We get so excited to share that we talk over each other. And this is a gentle reminder, which is to uh, the art of listening, which is taking turns and being present and not thinking about what you're going to say next in uh, the discussion. So to be there and to watch body language and to get a sense of someone uh, as they're telling a story. So, you know, listening, it's just a, such a simple message to be a genuine and authentic listener. So I, I don't know what else to say to that. I think I'll leave it at that. It's a beautiful message. So for the word week, when you are having great discussions, calm yourself, sit and listen 
make eye contact, give, you know, perhaps feedback, nodding and, and smiling or whatever it may be in your discussions with others. And then you can expect hopefully the same when you, when it's your turn to share that you can have someone who is also a genuine listener. So finally, I'd like to choose an Oracle card for focus or practice for the week. And let's see what the messages are. And by the way, I will put a link to the Oracle cards that I use in the video. Gates of triumph, success expands in your life. The gates of triumph, so there's the path, and there's the path to the light. And success expands in your life. And I think the, the thing that I would say is that everybody defines success differently. And what success looks to me, looks like to me, would look probably very different to you. And so we can't get hung up on society's uh, uh, examples of success, or whether you make X amount of money or the type of house you live in, you really have to create your own criteria and your own basis for what success means to you. Does it mean creating more time in your life to have uh, pleasure or to spend with loved ones? Does it mean to work for your, to, to be able to retire early? You know, everybody has their set point for what and how they're going to define themselves as successful. But success, success expands in your life when you feel that you have achieved something that you've been hoping to do. You know, it raises your confidence. It makes you feel better. And it could be simple things on a daily basis, maybe to eat more fruit or to incorporate more greens. And when you're able to do that, that's a success. So build upon the feeling that you get when you are, uh, you know, making small strides. And again, the gates of triumph. Uh, it's the gates of, I think, confidence, the gates of satisfaction to feel content is to perhaps achieve the things that you want to achieve. And if, and in the case that you don't, then to uh, redirect your vision or to be you know, to look a different way or to find something else that you are successful for. It's to not let, um, you know, if you're, if you're trying to get the greens in and you don't, it's to not beat yourself up. It's to try another day. There's always a fresh start and every day can lead to successes on, you know, that you've created and that you've, um, enacted. So, Fabulous cards, chess queen of strategizing, thinking about your moves, thinking about your moves in life and trusting your moves. Unconditional joy, how to bring unconditional joy within your experience uh, without expectation. I think it goes to being present and to taking notice of all around you and then listening and being a good listener, you know, being open to what someone is sharing with you. And finally, the gates of triumph, success expands in your life. You have to define success and uh, you should feel good about the things that you do that you are hoping to do. And if things don't quite work out that way, that's okay that's life and you know there's a new day to start fresh and to give yourself another chance so i hope that you have a happy and balanced and beautiful week and i hope that you found something helpful today with this reading if you did please subscribe like share and comment let me know how you're doing 
and I hope that you will come back again for another reading. Take care. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Bye-bye.